Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 7th of June 2025. I hope you are keeping well. I hope your weekend is going well, going swimmingly in fact. Although I haven't been swimming today. Um, and uh, what is going on in the world? Well, when uh, I'm out by birth and upbringing, I'm a Londoner. And there's one thing that Londoners are notorious for, that is having a lack of knowledge about the north of Britain. It's disgraceful, really, that <laughs> so many people in London don't know much about the north. And I'm, I admit to being one of them. I've traveled around the world, but seen less of the north of the UK. <laughs> Very bad of me. Anyway, um, but one thing I do know or thought that I was pretty sure of is that the bull ring was a shopping center. So when I saw uh, some video online of uh, a bull chasing around the streets of Birmingham, I thought, wait a minute, is the ball ring a shopping center or is it actually a ball ring? And I was thinking to myself, no, no, I can't be that. <laughs> Surely it's not. Surely it is a shopping center. And I do believe I'm right. I'm not sure what the origin was, but I just believe that was the name of a shopping center that was very famous because it was really one of the first kind of, uh, of, of its kind, you know, designed malls in the UK. Uh, we have these huge, huge shopping centers in, Th in Thailand that would dwarf uh, well, some British towns, actually, they're, they're massive, massive places and so many of them. In fact, we live most of our lives in them, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, 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 the bull was rushing around, uh, you know, maybe looking for a china shop. I'm not really sure, maybe. But uh, it kind of uh, sets the theme because in Thailand here, also just a couple of days ago, there was an elephant uh, walking into a grocery store looking for rice crackers or anything else it could get its hands on. I'm not sure if it was taking advantage of a, of a sale or something. We have a lot of uh, sales on goods um, around about this time. So maybe it was, maybe it spotted a bargain. Anyway, it was eventually kicked out of the shop for non-payment of funds not that it was trying to lift anything with its trunk or anything i don't i'm not trying to impugn its reputation it was just hungry looking for food anyway that's what's going on in the world nothing else let's get on with our game of sudoku shall we because i think i've got two things that i can see one linked to the other uh, so what have we got here this is our uh, los angeles times expert level puzzle regular for this channel we've got threes blocking across here which will put a three there and we've got a two blocking up there which will put two there those are the two linked things that i noticed whilst peering around the grid uh i haven't seen anything else yet though but that's just something that caught my uh, was uh, caught my attention I was just about to pick up my drink and then I spotted another digit so I'll put the drink down and give you seven blocking like this and a seven there and then I'll turn to my fluid. Um, should probably see what's missing here shouldn't I? Five, six, eight so look at that five and six neatly tuck in there will give us an eight in that square. And a five across here. Wow, look at that. A whole block done before I've even fully tasted my drink. Nine blocks up here. That's going to give me a nine in that row in that location. And eight will finish that row off. Excuse me, I hit the microphone because I was trying to hit a fly. Oh dear, there's a fly in the room that's going to cause problems, I think. Three blocking up here, three blocking up here, three across there and there. So there's a three for you.
Well, nothing else is jumping up at me, so I ought to go actively looking rather than just l asking the numbers to come to me. I shall go looking for them instead. I do believe 3, 1 and 5 block down here which will give me 3, 1 and 5 in those squares there. 3's there, 1's and 5's anywhere, but anyway that's three, out of, 3 digits out of this block accounted for, 1, 3 and 5. So these can't be 1, 3 or 5, must be 4, 6, 7, is that right? One, three, five, right? Four, six, seven. We've got six and seven together, so that's going to be the four. We have six and seven in these squares here. Uh, so six is up there, six is there, there. Oh, I've just spotted something else though. Uh, uh, all right, um, I'll come back in a minute. You know, let's let's do this first of all. So we have uh, six and seven in these squares. So this these have to be two uh, two eight nine, right? Uh, any help on that? No, except that we know that nines are up here. So that's a pair of eight and nine then. That's eight and nine in those squares there. And we'll come back to that in a minute. And this might be useful. I've just spotted one and seven down there. That's a pair of one and seven in those squares. So up there we're looking for a four and nine. Oh no. Okay. So then nine down here, and nine down there, and nine across there. There's a nine. And four blocking down here, four blocking down here, and four across there. That's got to be a four. Like I said, 1 and 7, so we're left here with 5 and 8, which means that that's got to be a 5 or an 8 as well. Uh, okay, not sure about the others. But I see 9 blocking this square, 9 blocking this square, so in this row there's a 9. Let's pause for refreshment. Now I said that 9 was in those squares up there, right? I'm going to go. Uh, so we've got 9 blocking up there, 9 blocking down there, 9 across there. That's a 9 there. And we've got 9 blocking this square, this square, 9 blocking this square, 9 blocking this square. So in this row there's our 9. And we do know what the other number up here is. I had 1 and 7 down there and I discovered this was 9 and 4, didn't I? So there's the 4. 4 blocks across here, 4 up here puts 4 into one of these two squares blocking across 4 up there and there's a 4. Seven down here, seven up there, that puts seven into that square.
might be a good idea to hit on the digits now and see what happens. Or maybe that's not necessary because we've got two, five and eight missing in this row here and we've got two and eight in the same column, so that's a five. Hmm, we can put two into one of those two squares there, if that means anything. Oh, hang on a minute. Did I not work out that that was eight and nine? I think I did, didn't I? Yes, we've got eight and nine here, up there, eight and nine up there. So when the two blocks both of those squares there, that's got to be a two, hasn't it? That's eight and nine, so we're left with uh, six and seven down here. Two up there and there. Two blocking this square, this square, and this square. That's our two back over here for the eight. Eight blocking down here, down there, and there's an eight. Uh, we know this is one and seven. Early on, we said that, so this has to be a five. And five blocks up there giving me five there and the last two digits there are two and something two blocking across there there's the two the something is a half a dozen <coughs> now I do believe that I had six in those squares didn't I seven and six wasn't it let's see seven blocking down there there's our seven and I did work that out as eight and nine so that was six and seven so six blocking up there six across there that's our six this is 8 and 9, this has to be a 1. Oh, I was about to pause for a drink, but no, should not, because there's a one that we have to fill in there. 3. Right. Most of it's done, I believe. What are we looking for there? Three? Hmm. That's the last digit of three. Uh, let's just go through the numbers. I believe we've got chance of a unique rectangle here, but I can't be bothered to work it out. Let's just see if we can do without it uh, just by clicking through the numbers I suspect that we might be able to but let's see So four and five block up here, right? Four and five block across there. So that's a pair of four and five. Whether my cat likes it or not, it is true. These squares are not four or five. They are eight or nine. We've got eight, nine there, so that makes sense. And we've got nine blocking there, so that'll be the nine. That'll be the eight, and that'll be the eight there. Eight blocking down here, eight across there and across there. There's an eight. 
Uh, eight up, eight down, eight across there. This has been a pretty straightforward game. I'm using the past tense because... Actually, I'm using the present perfect tense, but anyway. Uh, indicates past event because I believe this game is over. I don't think there's any chance of uh, us not finishing the game fairly easily from this point on. Six across there, six down there gives us six in that square. We just need a one at the bottom here. One across there gives us one in that square. One this way, one that way. There's one. Five is the other number that we need for this. Here, yeah, five across there. There's our five. Five blocking up and across there. There's a five. Three, five and eight are finished digits. This is going to be four. Four is going to block down and across, which will give us four in that square, which is the final digit, four. One blocks across here, so that's one. And the last number, well, we'll take the one up there if you like. One there. And this will be a two. And uh, two blocks down which gives us two in that square there, which is finished. What we need now are six, seven, and nine. There's a seven and nine there, so that's got to be a six. Six blocks across there. There's our six. Now we're looking for seven or nine. We've got a nine. That must be a seven. We've got a seven. That has to be a nine then. Where's a, where's a gap? Oh, down there. It's got to be a seven. That's it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, that was another pretty straightforward game there they're giving it giving us an easy weekend i think thank you for joining me take care bye bye